Let's investigate geometric series. I have found students having a lot of trouble with geometric series. They understand arithmetic series very well. But once they come to geometric series, well, it's too tough for them. And then the applications, my God. Now, I've been thinking a lot how to really make them understand this topic and make it interesting too. So I analyzed a few points and here is first question which always comes to my mind that this is definitely a point where students are confused and they even after completing the chapter they don't really understand and therefore here is this question. How is exponential function related with geometric series? All along since we start geometric series and since we have final test on this topic well, the only one question which they can't answer is, how are they related? What exponential function or geometric series? Aren't they same? Well, let's figure out how they are similar and how they are different. Okay. And then we will look into the geometric series formula. And I will suggest when you go through my videos, go through them in a sequence so that you can appreciate each and every following video. Okay. Now here, is how I'm going to describe you uh, the two functions uh, rather a function exponential function and the geometric series so let me make kind of a table whenever we are comparing we want to make a table right good old way of doing things right so let me make another line here and uh, let us say that here we have all x values and uh, here we have a function which is exponential function and um, let me write exponential function as fx equals to 3 to the power x right I've taken a very very simple function here okay and uh, then we'll have a geometric series and let me call that geometric series as f of n and we'll figure out what that series should be okay now so let's first uh, see the positive side the easy part of this n okay now uh, well as you know the exponential function has domain of all real numbers right so you could write this from minus infinity to plus infinity correct so let me sketch this function for you right here in the beginning so that you understand what I'm trying to say here now this function will look like this correct at 0 anything to the power of 0 is 1 right anything to the power of 0 is 1 but anything to the power of 1 is the base so for 3 to the power of x the y intercept will be 1 for that matter any exponential function base will be base could be anything b to the power of x even then the y intercept will be here right but at x equals to 1 the value will be 3 for this if I write general function as b to the power of x at 1 the value will be b right okay now here it is and as you've seen the sequences right if you have so far understood sequence you will understand that in sequence n belongs to natural numbers right n is not real and natural numbers means numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on right so here is our first difference and that is that x belongs to real numbers for an exponential function and here instead of x I'm using n but same variable any variable right here we say n belongs to natural numbers right you understand natural numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4 right not even 0 correct therefore the function here will actually well I'll come back to this later okay I'll come back to this later let's go back to the x values now since we saw that our function is only defined uh, geometric sequence is only defined for natural numbers we will only consider the positive values of x right you know from the graph it can go to minus infinity right we can write here if x approaches minus infinity right then y approaches 
zero and that two from plus side, correct? It is always positive, correct? And for any other negative value, we do have a value for exponential function. But let's consider zero onwards, right? So let's say x is zero. So if x is zero, then three to the power of x will be how much? Three to the power of x will be one, right? Now if x I put as one, then three to the power of one will be three, right? If I have x equals to two, then three to the power of two is nine. And for three, it will be nine times three, right? Which is 27. For four, it will be 27 times three, which is 81 and so on, right? So in general, we have a value which is 3 to the power of x, correct? So that is how our exponential function will look like. To plot any exponential function, we do take points like this only, right? We don't take points like 1.1, 1.2 and so on. Since we know that x belongs to real numbers, after plotting these points, we connect it with a line. Perfect, right? Now, here, for a geometric sequence, we cannot connect it, right? Because it's only natural numbers, only these numbers which we could plot on our graph, correct? We can never connect them because n is a set of natural numbers, not real numbers. Huge difference, okay? Now, we can, of course, represent this exponential function as a geometric sequence, correct? How? If I change my function definition a bit, a bit, not much. See, what I'm going to do here is, I want to know what my function should look like so that it can represent this exponential function with a restriction that x belongs to natural numbers. And I'll write n for my sequence, okay? So what I can do here is, Look at this. I can write 3 to the power of n minus 1. If I do 3 to the power of n minus 1, right, then n is natural numbers. That means n could be 1, right? So now what I will do is I'll put the values of n. So let me make a line here so that, you know, you'll appreciate why I took a different variable here. Right? That will make much more sense now. Now what I will do here is, uh, because I have a restriction, I cannot put n as 0, right? So what I will do now is, I'll put n as 1, because n is natural numbers. So let me put 1 here. But look here, what happens? 3 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is 3 to the power of 0, and which is, which is 1. So I get the same number here, right? Now, if I put 2 here, then... 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. So I get the same sequence. Do you see that? For 3, I get 9. For 4, I get 27, and so on, right? But for 5, I get 81. And in general, you know, it is n minus 1. Are you getting the point? So there is a relation. There is a relation. And the relation is so good right we can get the same values do you see the same values but this value is less one n minus one do you see that so that is we can actually get the same if we restrict the domain to natural numbers then general term general term or the formula right or the function could be related if i write the exponent as less one less one why? Because I'm taking care of the value at zero, right? Only because natural number starts with one, I couldn't have taken care of zero, so I started with n minus one. But now think about it. And that's the question to you. Can I take care of this value also? I can write n minus five. If I write n minus five, I can start with one right <laughs> and get minus four value correct that is you know so so as far as these terms are concerned they could be any we really don't have restriction on these terms our formula may change do you understand i will appreciate if you try this list now 
that is a task for you task for you is make a table of values for the function f of n equals to 3 to the power of n minus 5 right and then see we will get negative values also correct so it is not some students think that we can never get negative values no 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 the restriction is on the domain right not on the range the domain n can be only natural numbers so that is a huge point to understand here correct therefore I can actually draw a plot but I will not put this point at present here well I'll use another ink <laughs> for this formula I will start my plot from 1 right so I'll say 1 1 right and then 3 and then 9 and then like this it goes on and on and that is my geometric sequence correct so now you know the differences and you also understand how to link your exponential function with the geometric sequence right linking is very simple we have the flexibility here to link right we could have started from any place on this graph correct n minus hundred how does it matter right it could be anything right so but the restriction is that we cannot connect those points so whenever you're talking about sequences don't connect your points let it be a scatter plot okay don't make it a smooth curve by connecting that is what I'm laying stress on and second difference is of course set of real numbers for exponential functions and set of natural numbers for geometric sequence now let me get back to investigate geometric series what series what well, I've been only talking about sequences with you right not series sequences now these terms also are very confusing but it seems that the mathematicians use series only when they have to add the terms in the sequence okay so we have two separate chapters one for sequences where we are restricted we should not be talking about adding those terms but as soon as we start talking about adding the terms in a sequence then we jump or you can say hop to geometric series or arithmetic series so that is the relation between sequence and series when I say series the only thing comes to the mind is add sum what is the total of all this I hope you get it and I hope you appreciate it thank you